the Concordia Platz. Here, four mighty glaciers join to become the Greater Alich Glacier, an expanse of ice 23 kilometers long and up to 900 meters deep, the largest glacier in the Alps. Concordia is the Latin word for harmony and union, literally with one heart. With the retreat of the Alage expected to virtually disappear by the end of the century, the heart of one of the world's most iconic mountain ranges is melting due to climate change. Over the past century, alpine glaciers have lost over half their surface area, and scientists predict that by 2050, there could be no glaciers below 3,500 meters. The speed at which they're disappearing is the canary in the coal mine, warning us of the irreversible consequences of global warming. What we can see now by each glacier, but also and, and, and very good by the Alec Glacier, is that this retreating, this shrinking of ice is going faster and faster. The glacier will disappear until the end of this uh, century, until 2090, the glacier will more or less disappear. That is that what the, what the scientists say. On the 22nd of September 2019, in the Glarus Alps of northeastern Switzerland, People gathered for a funeral ceremony to commemorate the disappearance, or death, of the Pizzol Glacier. Dr. Matthias Haas has been studying the Pizzol for the last 14 years and has observed it lose over 80% of its volume, a trend accelerated by rising global temperatures. Glaciers are a very good indicator for climate change. They show very clearly how climate is changing and how they are impacting our environment. So glaciers are much better in visualizing uh, what climate does to our glaciers than just a temperature graph, for example. And this small glacier that is disintegrating, that is vanishing, makes it even much clearer that something fast is going on and the changes are really accelerating. I think this ceremony is a symbol. So it's not just about this glacier. It's a small glacier that is going to disappear. Well, so what? But it's about all the glaciers, it's about all our climate, it's about, about our planet. Scientists warn that all alpine glaciers could face a similar trajectory to that of the Pizzol. Hard as it is to imagine the vast expanse of ice melting away, climate models give an irrefutable indication of what is to come. This model, developed by ETH University in Zurich, shows the retreat of the Alleged Glacier by the end of the century if we continue along current warming trends. However, if we keep warming below 2 degrees Celsius, we can stop this and other alpine glaciers from meeting the same fate as the Pizzol. More or less every day I have something to do with the glacier. And in these 30 years, the glacier becomes to me like a friend. And I think this friend is now disappearing. Hey, we have to do something. We can do a lot, I think. Everybody of us can do a lot in his uh, daily behavior. I'm an optimist. And I think I believe on this earth. I believe on human beings. Although these environments, key to life on Earth as we know it, will inevitably continue to shrink, it's also clear that the extent of this loss is something that still remains within our control. Reducing emissions and limiting global warming in the next 80 years will determine the fate of these magnificent beings.
What we do today can shape the future of Alpine glaciers and stop them from losing their beating heart.